I first got into photography when my um, parents and family got me a, an SLR camera for my birthday, for my 18th birthday. And I just started taking pictures and posting them on the internet because I'd always been quite a technology person. So I'd just been uploading them on the net for people to see, mostly family. But then people all over the world were seeing it, sending me comments and emails and just saying how great they looked. Um, to me, they weren't anything really special, but it was obviously touching somebody else and they saw it in a different way to me. Which then made me think, I can make some money out of this. Um, so my mum let me have the dining room in our house, um, so she went without a dining room for about a year. Um, which we, I then set up some lights and a background and my first clients were actually family friends. Um, I quoted them something like £50 just to cover some costs. And um, they fell in love with the photos and they paid me triple the money I wanted, which was still cheap to them because they had pictures that would last them a lifetime. They could come back to me and get more printed. And I just started thinking, yeah, I could really make a go at this. Um, there'd be so many other people that would want this service. And because I was doing it from home, I wasn't, I wasn't renting a big studio, I wasn't, all those costs weren't coming in. So I thought, a bit of money at the time. And it was more money than I was used to. I gave up my Saturday job um, just to concentrate a bit more on the photography, and that really worked. That really opened up doors for me. Project 365 is a photo every day of the year, and that is basically a diary of your year. Um, it's like writing an entry in your diary each day. And at the end of the year, you can look back at the photos you've taken. But it's not just any type of photograph. It's, it's photos that kind of display your day, but it's also putting in your talent as well, your skill, and putting a high-quality photograph each day. It's keeping the passion alive, really, because last year I looked back um, and 95% of the photos I took were business. And I had nothing really to show the family and friends and that's the photographs they used to say wow to and that were the photographs that I used to get a buzz off them saying wow and I tell them about working for big companies like BT but and they say wow but it's just not the same feeling so now I'm trying to go out each day take a photograph worthwhile there's no point just taking any old photo but it is good fun and it'll be amazing to look back in the end of the year when I'm out and about in a park like this, I'll be looking for anything that looks a bit different. You don't, I don't want the bog standard bird shot, I don't want the bog standard flower shot. I want to make stuff look different. I want people to look at the world in a different kind of way. Look at maybe a tree in a different kind of way. It might just sound like a tree, but I want it to look interesting. I want my images to be striking. I think um, Project 365 is going to be a hard, really hard, and it's, it's just a personal thing for me. It's not to get any work. Um, it's for family and friends to look at and it's a personal achievement for myself because it is really hard to come up with something creative each day and it's just keeping your mind going, it's keeping your mind active. Like with anything, even sport, if you sit around doing nothing then you are going to start feeling lethargic. It's the same with photography, if you don't get out with your camera then the next day and the next day you're going to feel like oh there's nothing left to shoot, there's nothing to do. But if you get out there, look at things from a different angle, use different equipment, and the possibilities are endless. In the future, um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to be doing in my career, my full-time career, and at the moment I'm grabbing each opportunity I can. Um, secure jobs so far are mostly sport-based. Um, I'll be photographing at the 2012 Olympics in London. Um, I'll be photographing at the Paralympics in 2010, and that's in May. That's a five-day event, which is really good and I've got weddings secured in the summer. So even though that's nice money, it's good experience as well. Um, builds up my confidence and my portfolio.